In this presentation, we're going to look at how to use EBVs and breeding indexes to buy a signet recorded Charolais ram. This is a presentation primarily aimed at commercial sheep producers, but it might be of interest to those of you with pedigree Charolais as well. So my name's Sam Boone. I head up signet breeding services. I work with over 500 uh, pedigree sheep flocks running the genetic evaluation programs as part of AHDB, also involved in projects like RAM Compare. My contact details are shown. So in terms of commercial benefits, uh, we're going to talk about where to find the information, uh, what it means and how to find uh, how to benefit from those breeding values. So what is performance recording? Well, it's a service offered through Signet. Uh, essentially, we're collecting measurements on the animals, measurements of live weight, ultrasound scanning of muscle and fat depth. Uh, we combine that with pedigree data sets so we know the relationships between animals and analyze the data to tease out the influences of the age or the sex or whether an animal is a singular or a twin or the type of farm it was reared on so that we can purely rank animals according to their genetic merit for a series of traits. The only thing a ram will pass on to the next generation is through his genes, through his genetics and so we need an independent way of teasing out uh, the best animals. And there's been phenomenal genetic progress within the Charolais breed over time. Uh, Charolais were one of the early adopters of performance recording and this is the improvement that's been made over time. So a massive gain uh, across the breed in terms of growth rate, muscling, speed of finish. So where to find the information? If you head to the Signet website, uh, free to access, you don't need to uh, put in any additional details and you'll get access to several million sheep records. If you use the sheep search function, there are three elements within that. Uh, the flock finder, uh, the sheep search for individual animals and then the sheep for sale section. So those are the bits we're going to talk about today. Within flock finder, Put in details of your breed, put in the postcode uh, that you're interested in and uh, click search and it will very quickly tell you the nearest flocks um, to your particular farm. And there's also a click through to get the latest estimated breeding values for live animals in those flocks. So a very quick way to find some information. In the sheep search, again, put in the breed details, put in the first bit of the flock code and you'll get all of the animals uh, in the flock with that particular flock code or, or year and flock code combination. If you put in the individual animal of interest, then you get that exact animal being returned. And you can put in the UK ministry number into that box as well, but please use the same format uh, that it's shown. So UK space, zero space, the flock code space, the individual number and then you'll be able to bring up that animal. So if you want to check some stock rams you've got on the farm, that's a good way to do it. There are lots of different ways to present breeding information. If you head on to the charts uh, online, you'll see the information presented as in the top left. You'll often see sale charts at sales or information in catalogues and you can now export data via Excel. But it's exactly the same information. You've got a set of EBVs, a set of breeding values and then you've got a set of accuracy figures alongside them that indicate how much is known about that particular animal. So let's have a look at the way that information is shown. If we look on a sale chart we can see the estimated breeding values shown to the left and they are predictions of the genetic merit of animals for a specific trait. So this ram here has a scan weight EBV of plus 8.9. That means it's got the genetic potential to be 8.9 kilos heavier. Half of his genes will be passed on to his progeny. So on average, you'd expect them to be about four and a half kilos heavier than a ram with an EBV of zero. Uh, for the individual traits, uh, if you're looking for faster lamb growth, then uh, look at the eight week weight EBV. Litter size will indicate daughters that will produce or rear more lambs. Maternal ability will indicate daughters that will go on to produce more milk and thus rear heavier lambs. Uh, high scan weight EBV indicates lambs that will grow fast as a scanning time. The muscle and the fat depth EBVs indicate uh, 
superior muscling at a fixed live weight and indeed the fat depth EBV will indicate whether animals will be fatter or leaner at a fixed live weight and then the breeding index shows the overall superiority of those animals based on the the various EBVs for the either the breeding goal of having a good terminal sire or for having a ram to breed female replacements. So fairly evident how we uh, measure growth rate. To measure muscling and fat depth, we actually use ultrasound scanning. So since the uh, 1990, we've been using that to measure the muscling across the loin. And we'll also take three measurements of fat depth at the same time. And these give us good predictors of uh, carcass attributes in the live animal. The icing on the cake is the use of CT scanning. And again, this is something that Charolais have been actively involved with. And this tells you about total muscle and fat yield to an accuracy of about 97%. Tells you about spine length. It tells you about uh, vertebrae number uh, for those that are interested in the extra chop. Uh, it tells you about jigot shape and it tells you about intramuscular fat. So a whole range of traits have been developed over the years using the CT scanner and if you head online you'll get a bit more information about those attributes. If we head back to our example here we talked about the EBV the next thing we'll talk about is the accuracy values so these indicate how much uh, data is actually behind an animal's breeding record so it really indicates how likely it is that those breeding values are going to change over time. So for a, a, an old, well-tested stock ram, they may well be up in the high 90s uh, and are less likely to move uh, over time. For young, unproven rams, of which many that come onto the market will be, well, the accuracy values will tend to be a little bit lower. They're still the best prediction that you can make, certainly better than buying blind, um, but you may get a little bit of movement in time uh, if they're progeny tested and more records become available. Finally, we ought to have a look at the way it's presented on a chart. So this is just to make it a little easier to identify how good the animals are relative to the rest of the breed. The midline through the centre of the graph, that represents the average Charolais in a specific year. And anything above the line indicates these animals have more. So this animal definitely has more growth, also has a bit more muscling and a little bit more fat as well than the average recorded Charolais, but particularly strong in terms of uh, growth. Um, if it was below the line for its fat depth, well, then you would expect slightly leaner progeny. Uh, so it's a nice pictorial representation of an animal's genetic merit. Exactly the same information shown in the sales catalogues. So uh, here we've got a set of estimated breeding values and below those we've got a set of accuracy values for that animal. Um, in this example then it'd be quite useful to get hold of a breed benchmark and that would quickly tell me whether the animal is average, top 25% or top 10% for a specific trait. And the breed benchmark will often be published in the front of a sales catalogue. So exactly the same information shown there. Important to match your rams to your uh, particular farm. No two commercial farms are the same. Some will be keeping back female replacements. On some, speed of growth is vital. On others, then uh, growth rates are a bit less important, but carcass confirmation might be more important. So in this example here, we've got a ram that's actually got really, really high EBVs for growth rates. So the ability to reduce days to slaughter but a little bit closer to average in terms of its overall muscling uh, and uh, fairly average in terms of finish as well. The one below it, ideal if you're keeping back female replacements, it's got higher values for litter size and maternal ability. It's also really well muscled um, at a, a fixed live weight relative to the, the lad above, but slightly lower in terms of growth characteristics. So you'd need to have a think about your farming system to determine which is the best ram for the job. So why buy a Signet recorded Charolais Ram? Well, uh, the main reason is the opportunity to increase the returns from a commercial flock. Some really nice data coming out of Ram Compare, the national progeny test, where a whole number of rams have been used. And you can see on these three commercial farms, different finishing systems. But in each case, the scan weight EBV of the ram has a really big impact on the speed 
with which progeny can be finished. And in Charolais, that's particularly noticeable. That's one of the strongest features in the Charolais we've tested. High Scanway EBV sires are getting these lambs away uh, a week to a fortnight earlier than rams with lower genetic potential. It's also another nice example, and this is actually a Charolais example. Uh, two rams nearly identical in terms of breeding merit, but one is much, much higher in terms of his muscle depth EBV. And you can see the results for the progeny underneath uh, meant many more lambs uh, in high confirmation classes. So again, nice evidence here that choosing Charolais with good muscle depth EBVs is a good way to improve carcass confirmation. And in a similar way, choosing fatter or leaner EBV sires will influence the fat classification of lambs when they're killed. So important to map rams to systems. And the financial benefit of that, well, in ram compare, we typically saw £3.50 to £4 a lamb differences between the very highest performing sires and more average animals. We didn't test many low performing sires on our test. And you could link that benefit directly back to their sires genetics. Now over a ram's working lifetime, and I've got this ram lasting four seasons here, then that's an extra £1,000 per ram just from a bit of careful selection and shopping around. So a highly uh, cost effective way to actually go and purchase rams is through the use of EBVs. Uh, sourcing rams this year is going to be a little bit different. So uh, you've got the flock finder via Signet, which will help you find people that have rams available. There'll be a number of online auctions, breeder Facebook sites, and many of those will link into the estimated breeding values that we show online. The Breed Society will have a lot of information on its website. Uh, and also there's a Signet Sheep for Sale page. So if we head to that, it's a page on our website where people are uh, showing the rams that are for sale. If you click on any of those details, then it takes you through to see their estimated breeding values. So another way of locating uh, rams that are, are for sale. Of course, the only thing you want to bring onto your farm is the rams genetics. So really important to uh, think about health before bringing the rams on. It's about building a relationship with breeders, giving them feedback, um, doing structural assessments on the rams, teeth, toes, testicles, being a bit wary of extremely highly fed rams because there's a challenge there in terms of their overall fertility. And then there's a long list of diseases and health concerns there that need to be thought about either through a really rigorous quarantine or by buying animals out of health schemes where you know that uh, they're already testing and, and free from those diseases. So those are important things to take into account when uh, buying a ram. So that's all from me. If you want more information about uh, performance recorded Charolais, please head to the Signet website. And if you're interested in recording a flock yourself, then do give us a call.